From the time he was a young boy, he had his eyes on this industry. This was something that he just fell in love with at a very young age. And to be in love with something for so long says a lot. It says a lot to the nature of commitment. It says a lot to his nature of loyalty, his nature of generosity. Uh, Marty has done so much to enhance the ready mix industry. He uh, really puts his heart and soul into the business. He just is not in it for the money. He's there to help build a business and uh, to build communities. And uh, that's just the way he works. Marty and I have worked together for 42 years. Um, actually, we've worked together our whole lives. We have a long history in the business, and I have a unique position in that uh, we did it together. And I got to see how Marty's uh, vision, his focus, his leadership um, found itself and, and got to be where it was. In the 70s is when Marty III became involved actively in the company. Marty could have sat back on his heels and, and just continued to do things the way they'd always been done. And we probably still would have been a very successful company. But he likes change, and that sense of change uh, became kind of the way we operate. I think the passion that he has for the industry comes from the passion that he has for life. I, I believe that he sees things in people that other people don't see in themselves. And so he sees great potential in not only individuals, but collectively in the teams. And he, he's, he's always been good at, at giving people plenty of room to use their abilities to do something great. And I think to, to him, that's one of the most, been one of the most rewarding pieces of being a part of the industry is that he's enabled other people to do things that are far greater than what he even thought could be done. One of, the, one of the biggest things you notice about my father is his humbleness. He's very humble and, and he's not uh, outspoken about what he's achieved in life. One, one time I was out with him and my mother actually and I asked him, you know, how do you maintain this humbleness? How do you keep this humble attitude in life? And he said that everything he has, and he really believes this uh, deep down inside, is that it all belongs to God. That he's just a steward of it, that it's not really his, and that you know, he'll be held responsible someday for what has been given him and uh, just really resounded with me and uh, it made perfect sense to me and immediately, you know, I, I really got that. And so that's been an attitude that I've been able to take on myself. I, I think a guy like um, Marty Ozinga III comes along very rarely. He makes everybody part of his family, makes you feel wanted. And I honor him and I think he's very deserving of this award. He's an incredible man. Uh, he's raised six sons who who love him dearly and who uh, are passionate about honoring him as well. And so I think that speaks volumes that he's not only found a way to love the industry, but love his children and his wife and his family. I can't think of anybody that I've had contact with in the ready-mix concrete industry in the state of Indiana that would be more deserving of this than Marty Ozinger.